determining the velocity of a pulse propagated through a slinky. Aim To determine the velocity of a pulse propagated through a stretched string or slinky. Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Note Procedure Take a slinky that can be easily stretched to a length of about 1.5 meters to 2 meters. Fix two sturdy clamps on the table so that the distance between them is about 1.5 meters to 2 meters. Firmly fix the two ends of the slinky to the two clamps. Adjust the distance between the two clamps to obtain a moderate tension in the stretched slinky and a uniform distance between the turns of the slinky. Cut three small pieces of colored paper using quick dry adhesive or gum. Stick them on a single turn of the coil of the slinky at three different places. Using a steel measure tape Carefully find and record the length L, that is distance XZ. When the adhesive or gum dries, take a steel ruler and using its one end like a plectrum, sharply pluck only once one end of the slinky in a direction parallel to the stretched slinky. Observe how the pulse created by the plucking appears to travel from the end X to the end Z of the slinky. Also observe the to and fro movements of the bits of paper that is turns of the slinky in a direction parallel to the stretched slinky. Watch how the plucking produces alternate regions of compressions and rarefactions in the turns of the slinky. Observations and Inferences 1. The pulse travels across the stretched slinky from its one end to the other. 2. The pulse or wave appears to travel but what actually moves are the turns of the slinky. They move to and fro in a direction parallel to the stretched slinky. 3. The alternate regions of compressions and rarefactions in the stretched slinky give the appearance of a moving pulse. Wave Procedure When the oscillations in the slinky completely stop, plug the end X once again as before and Simultaneously start the stopwatch. Stop the stopwatch exactly when the pulse reaches the end Z, which is shown by the movements of the piece of paper stuck near the point Z. Record the time taken by the pulse to go from X to Z. Repeat the earlier steps two more times to obtain at least three readings of the time interval. Observations and Calculations 1. Length of the stretched slinky XZ is equal to L is equal to 2 meters 2. The distance travelled by the pulse in the slinky is equal to D is equal to 2 meters 
time taken by the pulse to move from X to Z? 1.92 seconds Velocity of the pulse B is equal to D upon T V1 is equal to 2 meters upon 1.92 seconds is equal to 1.04 meters per second 2.06 seconds V2 is equal to 2 meters upon 2.06 seconds is equal to 0 0.97 meters per second 1.94 seconds V3 is equal to 2 meters upon 1.94 seconds is equal to 1.03 meters per second Mean velocity V of the pulse is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 the whole upon 3 is equal to 1.04 plus 0 0.97 plus 1.03 the whole divided by 3 is equal to 1.01 meter per second. Conclusions or results 